Hi, I'm Judith Conroy of Chikara Reiki Do and I'm answering your questions on Reiki. So, question. The Bishop said that Catholics should stop practicing Reiki because it is both unscientific and non-Christian. What do you think? Answer. Well, here's my opinion on the subject and it's just a plain and simple, so what? To me, the bishop's opinions just amount to more control. Someone else telling you, you can't do what you already know you can do, scientific or not. How stupid is that? And if the church is trying to control their flock by denying them the freedom of expression of one of the most basic of human abilities, then it would appear their motives are almost certainly coming out of fear. Maybe they are afraid we might just realise how independently powerful we already are. <laughs> Maybe they are afraid we might just realise we don't actually need them anymore. <laughs> Let he who is without ulterior motives cast the first aspersions. <laughs> Look, there is only one energy, you. And martial artists use this energy to bash you harder. A yoga teacher uses it to bend in the middle. <laughs> a child uses it to run rings around you. A rabbit uses it to hop higher. Yuri Geller uses it to bend spoons. Ah, just a minute. There is no spoon. <laughs> when you understand that this one energy is yours and you can do what you like with it, it makes you more of who you are. And if you then discover you are a person who wishes to use your energy to promote a healthy outcome in the lives of others, then I am all for it. And quite frankly, there is not a thing anyone else can do to stop you. But do be aware of and wary of anything disempowering. You see, we are creatures who respond to the touch of each other, so they dissuade you from doing so. We are sociable and gregarious, so they like to monitor that. Sex is a natural joy and pleasure to us, so they regulate and degrade that. It would seem that channeling our natural aggression into the art form of war is just about the only thing they'll still allow us to do. But that's another story and not one for now. So I will simply say, assert yourself. Honour, respect and love yourself. You are the power in your life. And believe it or not, you do not need the bishop's approval nor allow them or anyone else to pass judgment on you. Be responsible for your own actions, your own choices and your own decisions. You have this incredible power, this incredible energy, this monumental untapped talent right at your fingertips, literally and symbolically. The question is not, what are the bishops going to do about it? But what are you going to do about it? Now you know. Hallelujah and amen to that. <laughs> Thanks for listening.